Hey guys, I'm back with another DIY video. Finally, it's been such a long time, but um, I'm back. I know these DIY videos are probably the reason why most people subscribe to this channel. So of course, I'm gonna keep doing these because you guys keep asking for them. Sometimes I'm not feeling that creative and I don't have any ideas uh, what I should put in the videos. Um, so if you want to see anything, then you can always DM me on Instagram and ask if I could do a tutorial on something or put it in the comments and I'll try to do that in the next video. Also, I keep seeing people saying like, oh, I'm not creative at all, like I don't know how to paint, I'm bad at painting, I'm bad at like art stuff in general. I have some DIYs today where you don't need to be like creative or artistic at all so maybe just try some DIYs and even if they don't look good in the end it's not always about the end result it's about like being creative and having fun and personally I am a perfectionist so I often can't enjoy like the process of making something or being creative because I'm too focused on how the end result will look and if I don't like the end result then I then I feel bad about myself but that's also what I'm trying to do is not to be too focused on what the finished product looks like so I can enjoy being creative more but anyway let's start with the video I bought this a few days ago and it's so cute it's a little door and it has a sign that says a fairy lives here and there's a little mushroom and I think there's also like a door handle and a window and it's just so cute I had the idea of maybe putting it next to my actual door. So there's a little, oh, there's a lot of dust here. To put it next to my actual door and then there's a little fairy entrance here. Okay, so we have the door here. I guess you have to glue these parts together and then we have the door handle and then here's the a fairy lives here sign I guess I'll put it here somewhere here and here's the window oh and the mushroom of course I'm just gonna start by painting it and then I'll add the moss I already love it so much and now I'm gonna glue everything together I haven't made a decision yet on where I want to put it but maybe you'll see this in a room tour if I post another one but yeah that's what it looks like spring is coming hopefully soon because I don't like cold weather I don't like cloudy and foggy days I just want the sun and I want it to be warm and I want to go out and wear my cute tops and shirts and therefore I bought these things they're I don't know what they're called in English but if you've seen my vlog in last year in October maybe I don't remember but then you saw me buying these things and basically how they work is you put them on a shirt and then you take an iron and then you iron it and then it stays on the shirt I thrifted this basic green t-shirt a few years ago actually but I just never really wear it even though I really like the color but I don't know I just don't wear it so I decided to put this butterfly on top of it and this is what it looked like and there were also instructions with the butterfly and technically it's really easy because you just put the motive on your shirt and then you iron it but the thing is that you're not supposed to move the iron while it's on the shirt and I did that so I kind of messed up but you'll see that in a few seconds Here 
here you can see how I'm moving the iron and that was my mistake because you're just supposed to let it stay in one place for a minute and then remove it. I kept removing it after a few seconds. And here you can see how a few of these little gems didn't stay where they were supposed to stay and it kind of just looks messy in some parts. Okay, so I was able to save it a little bit. It doesn't look perfect, but I guess that's also kind of what the video is about, that not everything has to be perfect. And it's just about having fun doing things and not worrying about how they turn out. If you're like me and you like drawing, you probably have a lot of sketchbooks that you started but never finished. And I have so many empty pages and sometimes I just don't feel like putting a lot of effort into something because sometimes I just want to have fun while drawing and not really have to concentrate that much on what I'm drawing. So this is a really quick and easy way to fill your sketchbook and it's also fun. You just start by drawing these lines in every corner of your page and work your way towards the middle and you can see how it starts getting rounder. And I love doing this because it's just really calming and relaxing and the lines also don't have to be perfect. And in the end, it should look something like this. I have so much stuff like for DIY things that I just don't use. I have all of these things here and I have so many beads and I just don't use them anymore because we only use them in summer for some reason. I think I'm gonna make some earrings because I got these like things to make earrings. But I haven't used them, so we are going to use them today. This next DIY is a really quick and easy one. I had these mushroom beads at home and these things you can use to make your own earrings. And you can buy all of this online, but basically you just put your bead, mushroom bead or whatever kind of one you're using into the little hook of the earring and then you're done. Like this you can make your own earrings with whatever kind of motive you'd like. I haven't used this air dry clay in a while, so I hope it's not dry already. But we're gonna try to make something out of it. And I have these stamps. And I wanna try to use these for like writing on the clay. This DIY was a fail, but I still wanted to put it in a video because maybe it inspires some of you. And maybe some of you will do a better job than I did. But the clay was a little bit dry and I had to use a lot of water and then I used too much water. And my desk looked so messy, but I wanted to make a bowl. So I took a bowl and um, put the clay inside of it and I should have put a plastic foil underneath it. So it would have been easier to get the clay outside of the bowl after it dried. This was kind of a stupid idea because I don't know how to get it outside of the bowl now and I should have just done it the other way around. After a while I realized that there was no way of me getting this out of the bowl without ruining it so I decided to do a plate and at this point I was already kind of frustrated and then I tried using the stems but it just didn't work the way I wanted it to work and it just didn't look that good and on the eye there was still ink so the ink was on the clay and it just didn't look good. I think I did a really bad job at this because here it's breaking apart and I think the idea is cool but I don't know for some reason I don't really like it so I'm trying to save this and then I'm gonna try to paint it but I don't know if I'm gonna like the end result. I realized I couldn't save it and just stop this project but maybe some of you will do a better job than me. I think that's it for today's video. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got some inspiration. I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are right now. Let me know if you still enjoy these DIY videos or what else you want to see in the future. I don't know how many of these videos I can make because they always take so much time to make and effort. And it also takes a long time to edit them and stuff. But I still enjoy doing all of that. I'm still gonna post them. It just takes a little bit more time. But I hope you can be patient with me. I love you all. Bye.